Hello everybody, this is Ogany Supreme here with a trick to surpassing the 2 million cell limit in Google Sheets without using any other external sources such as BigQuery. So there are some times when you have a Google form linked to a spreadsheet that behaves like a database and then you have so many responses that you reach the 2 million cell limit and then you're like, what do I do? So you delete all of the extra columns that are empty and all of the empty rows because those count. You delete all that and then you manage to get a few more responses and then you hit the limit again. So you're screwed, right? Not necessarily. For I have came up with a trick to surpassing the 2 million cell limit. It requires first knowing that Google Sheets has increased the limit to 5 million. So that's 3 million more cells you can have. So let's say you hit this limit now. Now the steps are unlinking the form with the current spreadsheet and then you're gonna link it to a new spreadsheet and then you're gonna use built-in Google Sheet functions to combine the two sheets. I'll explain that later. Now there are some restrictions to this trick you can't increase the limit indefinitely if you want to just sort all of the information. I'll explain what that means later. But you can basically, if you want to access all the information, you can't increase the limit forever. It can't be infinite. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to go under my Google form. I have questions, responses. I'm going to hit responses. I'm already under it. I'm going to go into this three dots button right here to the right, click it. I'm going to go into unlink form. It's going to give me a pop up. I'm just going to hit unlink, unlinking spreadsheet, spreadsheet unlinked. I'm going to hit this button to create a new spreadsheet to link it. I'm going to change the name though. Expansions responses 10 under this box. Make sure this is selected and then something like this is entered. Change the name, hit create. It's going to take a little while. And then it will create a new spreadsheet. Now, as you see, it included all of the other responses. So, like, you know, that's not great. Because if you hit your limit, it's going to hit the limit again. So you're going to want to fix that. So how are you going to do that? Very simple. You're just going to delete these rows. So complicated, huh? And then if it takes nine responses like it did for me to hit the limit, then you might want to delete those extra columns just to be on the safe side. So let's test it to see if it works. I'm going to go into preview. I'm going to quickly answer the stuff. I'm going to go five, four, five, whatever. I don't care. Let's see if it sent and it clearly sent. And if I look under here, Nope, it didn't send under here because it's not linked to the spreadsheet anymore, but it's linked to this one. Which is great. We were, we did it. But what happens if you want to access this information? Are you screwed? No, you're not. So you're going to want to create a new spreadsheet for this because if you hit your cell limit, you're going to want a whole new spreadsheet. But because I confess I didn't hit my limit, I can just create a sheet and be safe. To import a certain range in another spreadsheet, all you're going to do is you're going to use the built-in function import range. So you're going to type equals import range like so bracket. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to, is you're going to go into the old spreadsheet. You're going to copy the link like so and put it in quotation marks and then comma. And then in more quotation marks, you're going to go look at your, individual sheet name so a minus form response is six now since that name includes more than one word I have to use uh, the quotation marks or the single quotes form responses one I believe it's called form responses six my bad then end quote and then exclamation mark and then I'm going to select my range so I believe it's b2 to D10, which it is, and then N quotation. I press enter. It says loading. 
And then it says, ref, what's wrong? You need to connect these sheets. So you, you just have to hit allow access. And then there you go. And just to show that it works, I'm going to copy this information and put it next to it. And as you can see, all of the data is exactly the same. And that is a good name, a good day. And I'm going to copy this function for later. Now let's say I want to use query to sort the information both from this sheet and this sheet right here. And I want to select only the answers that have question one equal to five, let's say. So I'm going to hit equals and then query and then bracket. Now, since we're going to be using two different sheets as reference or two different two different ranges, you're going to use the curly brace. So next to the P, you have the square bracket. You're going to hit shift and then that button. Then your import range. I just copied my formula. You're going to type the exact same thing like you did before. And then after that, you're going to hit semicolon to show that you're separating. And then since this is in this sheet, I can just go my quotes, form responses, one, and quote, exclamation mark, B2 to D2. Now, if if you had more sheets, if you had more different spreadsheets, then all you, you would have to do is use the import range function again, but then just for that specific sheet. So you'd have, if you have five different spreadsheets, you would have five different things. And then you're going to have your end curly brace like this right here at the end. Actually, make sure you have your bracket because of import range. Actually, no, you don't need that. My bad. Then you can have your comma outside. And then in quotes, you're going to type select all the asterisks where. Now, this is where the query function works differently because normally because question one is under B on both of them, I can just go B equals five. I'm done. But this is an issue. Why? What if I'm importing a range, but in one spreadsheet I have A to D, in another spreadsheet I have E to, e to H, let's say, and so on and so forth. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna say call one, equals five to say the main, so to say the first column in all of the different ranges, then enter value. There you go. It works. So to prove that it used both, I have in here one response that's five, five, one, and then another one that's five, three, four, Four. These are the only two in this sheet that use five in question one. And as you see, five, five, one, five, three, four. There you go. And in this, the only thing I have in here is five, four, five. And my next thing is drum roll. I don't have a drum roll sound. I'm sorry. Five, four, five. So there you go. That is how you increase your cell limit. Now, as I mentioned before about the limitations, if you... If you want to do something like this, but you have like a hundred different spreadsheets and then and then all of the responses where question one equals five, if there are more than five million cells worth of data that meet that case, well, then you're out of luck. Then you hit your limit. That is the limitation, but this further increases your cell limit. So thank you guys for watching this little trick, this little video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, you can hit the subscribe button. You can hit the bell icon to get notified of any future videos. This is Ogany Supreme, logging off.